Hey, I am at Amico right now and I'm just about to do the last layer of my Goose Christmas cards. So I thought it would be a good time to share a little bit of the silkscreen process with you. Check it out. I always start by getting all my gear organized. So I have my ink, my water with sponge, spatula, squeegee, some tape, and of course a rag because I am very clumsy and I will spill my ink all over the place at some point. And then last, but obviously not least, because it's the star of the show, is my screen. If you look closely, you can see that there is a yellow section and a red section on my screen. The yellow section is the part of the screen that doesn't have any emulsion on it. And the red isn't actually the screen itself, it is a special coating that we put on the screen to turn it into a stencil using photographic processes. So what we do is we coat the entire screen in this photo emulsion and expose it to light and kind of treat it like a photograph. And in the end, we have these intricate little stencils and you can see where the stencil is, the light actually goes through which means that our ink will go through as well. I've turned the light table on so that you can get a better idea of how the light comes through the screen. You can really see the stencil now. And you might also notice that I have some paper and some packing tape on my screen. This is to protect the areas that I don't want ink going through. Uh, part of that is to protect my paper that I'm printing on, but more importantly, it's to protect all of these other exposures that we see on the screen. So what will happen if I get ink into here and it dries is it will actually clog those areas of the screen and make them unusable. But because we reuse our screen as many times as we can, we want to avoid that. So that's why I try to be really diligent about keeping everything clean and protecting it where necessary. As you can see, I'm not completely wasting paper. These are all either test prints or misprints that we save in our little scrap paper pile. And we also have scrap ink, leftover ink that we share with one another. So we try to reduce, reuse, recycle as much as possible at Imigo. Um which is pretty cool. Anyway, now I'm gonna get started. Okay, I'm going to start with getting some ink onto my screen. And doing a little, a little print onto a sheet of clear mylar. I'm gonna take my squeegee and just kind of push my ink up how flat in my screen. I'm not actually putting any ink through anywhere just yet. I'm just covering the, the screen itself. And then I'm going to take my squeegee and print it. I want to have about a 45 degree angle, maybe a bit higher for my squeegee. And just push it across. So every time I print, I'm going to flood the screen again. And this is going to help prevent any ink from drying into the screen. So this is an acrylic based ink, which means that it's going to dry pretty quickly if left unattended, especially if it's thin, like a thin coat. So we're just a little extra diligent about that. So you can kind of see the mylar. And this lower goose didn't print overly well but I think it's printed well enough for me to line everything up. So you'll see here, I have these little plastic hole punched tabs on the ends of my cards. And then they line up with these little metal pins. And what that does is helps me with registration. So these are taped on, so they're just gonna be temporary. I'm gonna figure out where the card needs to sit on the table to line my last layer up perfectly. And I'm gonna tape these little metal tabs into place. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow me to have these cards in the exact same spot each time I print them. 
so I don't have to go through the whole big process of lining it up perfectly each time. I just switch out the card and put a fresh one on. So this part of the process is a little bit pernickety, especially with the scoops because it has very fine lines on it in places. So I need to make sure that it's sitting exactly right so that I have the best representation of the image possible. Okay. That was suspiciously easy. <laughs> so I'm gonna lift off this mylar that I printed on and hold my card in place while I take the pins down off the table. And I've already registered the upper hoops. So we'll just click that onto the tabs. Pull the screen down. Just go in one smooth fluid motion and then follow up with flooding the screen so that your ink doesn't dry onto the screen. And, oh gosh, oh gosh, this is really exciting. Check this out. Check this out, a little cobra chicken. So now I just have to do this about 25 more times and then I'll be all done with this back. I will be able to move on to my fishers. So I'm all finished printing. I cleaned everything up. All I have to do is pack up my little cobra chickens and bring them home. I'm going to take the little tabs off, sign them and fold them, and then they'll be ready to ship and to go to the art shack where they will be available for sale. So check it out and thanks for watching.